Whoa, would you look at this? Wow. Hi, everybody. Bean Mike. Whoa. Hi, everybody. Bean Meister. Well, that's a close one. Hi, everybody. Bean Meister 22 here. I've got my name right. This is an update of our Black Widow spider friend with a false widow. You know, everybody needs a friend, right? Yeah, but with friends like this. So if you remember, oh, come on. If you remember, we put a Black Widow in with a false widow. This Black Widow is older. She's kind of shriveled because she's laid a whole bunch of egg sacs recently. Man, that false widow is going to town there. And remember, a false black widow can look just like a black widow, depending on the light. In this lighting, it looks brown, and it kind of looks like its back is flat or flattish. And they don't have the red hourglass on their abdomen, abdomen on their belly. But not all black widows have that. Or they have it, but you can't see it. You can't always see it with your naked eye. Sometimes you need to use magnification. All right, so these spiders went back to their respective resting places. We have plenty of food in here for the spiders, so there's no reason for them to eat each other. They kind of hang out in their own little area, and then they interact. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Sometimes they don't care. They'll stand right next to each other, walk right next to each other, and won't care. It's been my experience, whenever I've put a false widow in with a black widow, the false widow will tend to eat the Black Widow spider. So even though the False Black Widow is not a very dangerous spider, it can easily eat a more dangerous spider. Which is why you might have heard a giant house spider, which is a you know, benign, big, scary-looking spider, but relatively harmless. They are good for getting rid of hobo spiders, brown recluses, for two reasons. One is they kind of just push them out of the way because they're a bigger spider. And the other reason is they will eat them. So even though there will be a more venomous or more dangerous spider to a human, it doesn't really matter in the bug world because even a small spider and its little bit of venom can kill another spider. You know, because those spiders are tiny, except for the really big ones. So how lethal a spider is to humans or animals or pets doesn't necessarily correspond to how it is in the bug world. So yeah, these two are, well, you know, they're getting along pretty good because it's been about a week and uh, they're still in there kicking. And there's nothing that says they can't be friends. That they can't just live in there in harmony. And I've seen it before. Doesn't always happen that way, but yeah, it it can happen. But this Black Widow, she still is not looking very well. Like I said, she laid a couple of egg sacs in a one-week period and three egg sacs within a two-week period, and she just kind of shriveled up. Is she at the end of her life cycle? Maybe. On average, when I've had a Black Widow in captivity, it's lived between, I'd say, six months and maybe just over a year, year and a couple months. I'm not sure how long they can live. I've seen some places it's about a year, some places a couple years. And then, like with some other spiders, depending on how many egg sacs they lay, they might use themselves up. So if they lay too many egg sacs in too short a period, or if, let's say, they got 20 in them, and they lay them 20 egg sacs in six months, and then they croak, or do they lay them 20 egg sacs in a year and a half and then croak? You know, they use up their life cycle, so to speak. These are some creepy looking spiders. And when you see spiders like this up close, yes, it's creepy. But if you have a fear of spiders, maybe it'll help you. Kind of, you know, immersion therapy where you just get in there and, well, ugh. That, yeah, get a little closer to the camera there. That black widow's on the move. Oh, and the false black, oh, and they are tangling. 
They got the long... Whoa, come on. They're shooting some web at each other. They got those long legs where they can poke and feel. and So, they, you know, sometimes they don't like to be poked. You know, I can understand that, right? And as I've mentioned before, since the false black widow can look different depending on the lighting, in this lighting, they look completely different. Come on, they're talking to each other. Hi, how are you doing? I'm a spider. Yeah, I'm a spider too. Quit poking at me. Like two, whoa, like two kids in the backseat of a station wagon. Quit touching me. Quit touching me. That's a false black widow shooting some web there at the black widow. This habitat is getting kind of uh, messy web-wise. You know, they're looking at each other. Kind of messy web-wise, but uh, they're happy and content enough to be in there. What is she doing? Looks like the black one is shooting a little wet. Whoa! Oh, wow. Black widow shooting a little web at the false black widow, and the false black widow just poking at her. You know, reaching out and feeling, reach, re hold that, reach out and touch someone, sort of thing. And to the respective sides again. It's a close up of the black widow. You can see how sh how old and wrinkly and shriveled she is. Ah, we all get old, wrinkly, and shriveled with age, right? So what they're doing here, I'm going to have to say is probably territorial, as they're messing with each other. It has nothing to do with food, because there's plenty of food in this habitat. So far, all I've been able to catch on camera, though, is the false black widow catching one of those Dubai roaches, and we've seen that in another video. She's slinging some web there. Looks like they're both aimed at web slinging at each other. Remember, Spider-Man slings the web from his wrist. These Black Widows and False Black Widows sling it from their backside. And the web itself isn't sticky. It's the sticky little stuff that you'll see, the droplets on the web. That's what makes it sticky. See, they're really close right here. They have no problem, but now they're messing with each other. Because sometimes they'll rest right next to each other and they won't care. And other times they're just, hey, messing with each other. They're friends. That's what friends do, right? Because if you don't mess with your friends, well, you don't want to mess with people who aren't your friends sometimes. I get, you know, you're get a sock in the eye or something. And there's a false black widow messing with a black widow. Slings a web. Yeah, very interesting to watch them interact, especially because one is a scary Black Widow spider and the other is a relatively harmless false Black Widow. This would be a much better video if the Black Widow wasn't all old and shriveled up, but yeah, that's nature for you. All right, so did you ever think a false Black Widow and a Black Widow could be friends? Did you ever know there was such a thing as a false Black Widow? Yeah. Oh, leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.